Can we hear me? All right, what's going on, guys? So this is gonna be. There you have it. All right, what's going on, guys? Rachel nicely here, coming at you with a different segment. Um, just really, this is the meat and potatoes of why I post what I post and do what I do because I have these crazy thoughts that are in my head all the time. So today I wanna talk about fat loss with minimal routine changes because I feel like so often people start like, all right, you wanna change what you look like. You look at online, what are you gonna do to lose fat, get shredded, look like Claire Thomas, look like Cora G, what are you gonna do? Cardio, cardio, like I feel like that's everywhere. And I just wanna take a few steps back before we do that. So. Some key points that is gonna be really crucial to understanding what I'm talking about here. And let's see, hope this doesn't pull. I think it's going to. All right, so one pound of fat is gonna equal roughly 3,500 calories, right? And so I've talked about a lot before how I'm not a fan of tracking your calories with you know, fitness trackers and different stuff like that because it's not accurate. But studies show that about 3,500 calories deficit is one pound of fat. So that's why, you know, it says online and it says in the science that you can lose health safely about a pound a week. That's at a 500 calorie deficit a day. So let's do some quick math. So I just did my maintenance and it's 2125 minus 500. That puts me at what? 1625 a day. If I followed that to a T, I would lose about a pound of fat a week. So this is really relative because I'm also going to be working out. And I love working out. You probably love working out. It's the cardio part that you don't like. And so let's be really, you know, vague and say that working out is good. We're going to burn about 300 calories. Now, when I work out for about anywhere from an hour to an hour 15, my watch says typically at least 300. Sometimes it's more. I'm going to be really wide open, say 300 to 500 with my strength training. I've been doing a full body routine. It's really sweet. I love it. So I'm already in a deficit. I'm already burning more calories and that's without adding anything else crazy. And so what I'm learning in this new cut phase that I'm doing is that when your diet is dialed in and you're eating enough protein, which is super, super crucial and not enough people do, I promise you, you're not doing it. Track your stuff for a week and then tell me you're eating a pound of gram for protein every day. And then, then you'll see how drastic that is. Um, so we're already doing this. We're in a deficit. We're working out. If you just went for a 30-minute walk a day, you grabbed, you grabbed your dog, you grabbed your friend, you grabbed your fiance, whoever it is. On my 30-minute walks this week, I've been burning, what do I have here? I've been burning about 100 to 150 extra calories like that's nothing that's that's beans beans and rice rice and beans so it just goes to show you that if you barely increase your energy expenditure that's going for a 30 minute walk this could be this could be anything you can walk you can lunge if you like running you're psycho but you could run you know you could do I've been liking sprints lately you could do the prowler, sled, we'll call it the sled. I mean, this, this is nothing. This is 10 minutes extra in the morning, in the evening, wherever you want to throw it in. But I just want to go and show you how this adds up. So if we're looking at one pound of fat as 3,500 calories, that looks like a lot. But all that is is 500 a day. And say you want to eat more than, than this number. Say you want to eat more than a 500 calorie deficit. Okay. Let's only cut these calories by 300, but let's increase our movement a little bit, a little bit, because the more that you do work, so say you work out for an hour, hour 15 minutes, strength training, it's really hard, you're pretty, de pretty depleted after that. And then you hop on the Stairmaster for 30 to 45 minutes. That's a shit time, that's a lot of work there. So your body's gonna be like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, what's going on? We need to hold on to this because we're losing so much so fast. So I just want to encourage you to take a look at the small things, your minimal routine changes, and just see how that affects your body composition. See how it affects your weight. My biggest takeaways for this is the minimal increase of activity and protein. Those two changes are what we're going to do with body recomposition, which is what majority of you are after. Not weight loss. We want to lose fat. And increasing our protein 
keeping our strength training and barely increasing activity, you're gonna have really awesome results. That's your first little vlog knowledge bomb. I hope you got something got hope you guys got something out of it. We're one take wonder here. This has all been one take. I don't care. I'm posting it. So if you got something out of it, let me know. Let me know. Follow my Instagram at Rach Nicely, nicelybuiltfitness.com. See you guys next time.